Hello, I'm Andy and I'm a safety engineer. Welcome to this Omron Tech Talk. During this video, I will show you how to force safety IO whilst in debug mode. This is useful during commissioning of systems, especially if you are waiting for a guard to be finished or a switch wired up, but need to get some outputs on to allow commissioning to continue. This function is only available in debug mode. IO cannot be forced on verified programs. It's important to remember that forcing safety IO, even in the commissioning phase, can lead to hazardous situations. Temporary guarding or policies may need to be applied to allow this function to be safely used. A full risk assessment should be carried out before progressing. So, let's say I want to force the guard switch into a true state. Firstly, I'm working on a verified program. So this isn't available. I need to be in debug mode. To go into debug mode, I can put the program back into program mode. Type in the password if you have one. OK. Now what I'm going to do is put the program into debug mode. Type your password in again. Click OK. The program is now in debug mode. But it's not running. To run the program, I have to start debug. Now, this switch here is the switch that I would like to force. As you can see at the moment, it's in a false state. And my e-stop system isn't active. So if I just reset that, this function block is ready to go, but I have false condition on my guard switch. So if I open the watch tab page, I'm going to type in here the input I want to affect. So in this case, it's si underscore elong. OK, now you see here it says modify true or false. What we need to do is we need to click on here, go to forced refreshing and change it to true. Now you can see the input is moved to true. If I reset that guard switch, you will now see that the output is active from the function block. I can also modify Back to false. And there we go. The moment you drop into program mode or try to validate the system, the forced refreshing will be cancelled. Alternatively, you can right click here, go to forced refreshing and cancel. And there we go. That is how you force safety IO during debug mode. Thank you.